Okay, so change of plan, guys. Uh, you can see I'm right where we left off, and the obelisk is still down. Um, turns out I can't just replay the level yet because we have to finish Egypt before we can replay Egypt levels. So eventually I will be able to show you guys that relic. It's just going to have to wait a little while. So sorry about that, but for now we'll just go ahead and press on. So, the Obelisk of Kamun. Let's use our little switch. Alright. And let's get our first Eye of Horus. What would you call these? I don't know. They're going to act kind of like keystones, you know, like in the in Greece, in the big puzzle room, we had the key of Hephaestus and Atlas and uh, all the other ones. Um, that's kind of what these are, but we're in Egypt, so they're kind of more Egypt-themed. Um, so, for lack of a better term, we will call them keystones. And that was the first one. Uh, anything down here? I know sometimes we find med picks and med picks, med packs and stuff at the bottom of the water, but I don't see any. And what about over here? Anything interesting? Ah, aha! Med pack. Like that. Okay, so that switch that we used um, raise that platform. So after you raise the platform and get your eye of forest, you're gonna come down a level and go through this corridor. And here's where the puzzle gets interesting. Whoa! Uh, okay. I don't know why I just kind of stalled in the middle. Not what I meant to do. First trap equals first trap death. That's not a good start. Okay. So just kind of watch the timing. I like to do the swan dive move because I find it, I get through it a little bit faster, or at least it feels like it does. Alright. And double trap. There we go. We need to use that switch. The shotgun ammo, but we don't need it. <coughs> so there we go. A switch. And the platform will only stay lowered for a little while, so you want to get it over there fairly quickly. And once again, once our weight is on the... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. Wow, well, Egypt is not being friendly to Lara. Try that again. What I was about to say is once again the platforms will recede when the weight is on them. There we go. And then jump to the center. Alright, now this switch back here is going to release a pole way up at the top of the room. You have to get to that pole in time if you're going to get to the artifact. So if you don't care about the artifact, you can skip this switch because you don't need that pole. Um, the way out of this level is actually the opposite direction. But I would like to try to get the pole. So I'm actually going to save right there as well so that if I mess up, 
I can just reload it right here. And it won't let me pull that switch, so we're just going to have to try and go fast. And I don't really remember everywhere that we're going, so this is going to be a little bit trial and error. I do remember you want to be careful of the arrow traps. No, 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 go to the side. We might not make it this first time, but at least we'll kind of have an idea of where we're going. So everything up until this point is the same thing you're going to do regardless of whether or not you want the artifact or relic or whatever it is up here. No! Oh! Okay, so we need it to be a little bit higher. And that's not actually where we wanted to to be. We need to be down at the switch, so let's just reload. No! Oh my god, are you kidding me? I saved it up at the switch! Why did it... I don't understand why it reloaded me all the way back here. And obviously I didn't stand on the switch long enough. That completely defeats the point of having saved there. If I have to go all the way back anyway. I know I got a little quiet, it's just because I'm trying to focus and move quickly. No, backwards. Thank you. No! Oh my god! Alright, so it's becoming clear that um, that wall run we're not going to be able to get the first time. We're going to need to wall run uh, at least twice, I think, to get high enough.
Come on, you can do it. Down. Thank you. Alright, so let's do that wall run twice, I guess. And now I don't think I'm high enough because I didn't catch the wall run high enough. Alright. Obviously, we are not going to make that pull this time. But at least we will know exactly where we're going. And let's see if that's high enough. Yes. Okay. Okay, and there are arrows there, so we don't want to go up there. Okay, and that's where our pole would be. Which, obviously, no pole because uh, we didn't get up here fast enough, but that's okay. Try and take a shortcut down. Costs a little health, but I think we can do this this time. If we get the wall run the way we're supposed to, we know exactly where we're going after that and before that, I think we can make it. Come on. Backwards. Thank you. I feel like we're making decent time. Are so good. And we made it. And there's our artifact. And once you get the artifact and hit that checkpoint, that pole will stay extended. And you can just go back the way you were going. Now, if you don't care about the artifact, you don't have to pull that switch. You won't need that pull. You'll just follow the same path we took to get up here and go this way. And that pull... No! Ugh. That pull is static and doesn't move. All right, that's okay. The artifact was a checkpoint, so I think it'll reload us up at the top of the room. Yes. Okay. So we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. And med pack. Moving on. There. Oh, there is stuff down there. Alright, what do we got? We got shotgun ammo we don't need. Med pack, which we'll go ahead and use. And let's do this part again. No baddies. Oh, there's traps. go. Yep. 
Okay, now we're up at the top of the room. So we're going to go to the left first and use this switch. Alright, there we go. Uh, I guess technically that was right, sorry. When you walked into the room, this was to your right. Alright, back the way we came from. And this time we'll go this way. Move over that cracked part quickly because it will do that. Alright. And down the hall. Spinning blades of fury. Okay, so these blades are high, but they do retract. So we'll wait for them to start retracting, and then we'll go low and stay towards the center. Okay, wait for them to start to retract. So out, in, straight across. All right, another puzzle room. And those claws are just ferocious. Switch. So now our ramps become stairs. And we got a med kit, which we're going to use. Another med kit. There we go. We're safe for the moment. Fifty cal ammo, ammo, and another med kit. The trick here is to watch the timing of the blade. So when it starts to. There it is, out. Okay, so we're going to have to jump across this blade. So we're going to wait for it to come out. There it is. And then go. Okay, now there are two blades we have to get across here. So we're out. And we didn't hit the thing. That wasn't good. There we go. Checkpoint two. Alright, now we want to come low enough that we can hit that grapple, and we're going to have to go backwards to the next grapple. Okay, and then from here... Drop onto our artifact.
Now I did kill ourselves, but that's okay because it's going to reload us at the checkpoint, which I believe will be higher up in the room. Okay, and we can just go back down and we've already got our artifact. Okay, so this time we want to go up on the grapple a bit so we can get to that platform. and then down the hall. But we are at 20 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and split this here, and I'll be back. 